Hello and welcome to this tutorial for 3D World Magazine. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be showing how to set up this track to animate around these wheels in a realistic fashion. Um, we're just going to attempt a basic setup initially. Um, there are lots more complicated setups around where um, the track will wobble because it, it uses dynamics and things but um, I think that's for a, a future tutorial. Um, so hopefully you've watched the first two videos which were concentrated mainly on um, the modelling of the of this robot. Uh, what we've done now is we have created a very basic rig. Well that's a bit slow. Let's turn off some of this uh, fancy lighting. So you can see here we've got a very basic rig. Just zero that back out. So we've got the body set up. Uh, the hands still need fixing and the fingers, but you can see he's ready to animate. But what we need to do now, we have the controllers, so just some basic nerve circles for the track and for the wheels, but these aren't set up yet. So what that's what we're going to do now. Um, so first let's get rid of everything that we don't need. So get rid of the geometry, the controllers for now, so we can just concentrate on this bit of track. Um, so what we need to do first, actually, There we go. That's what I needed. We have um, this is the the main track which we built uh, in silo. Now this is good for giving us an idea of how many segments we will need and a rough idea of where the path that the tread is going to follow. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Get rid of that. So our first step, we need a path. This is our tread. We're going to concentrate on just animating one to go around the wheels first. And then we can repeat that process to build up the rest of the segments of the track. So we switch to the side view. Create a nerves circle. This is going to be act as the path. So, control space to switch to full screen so we can see what we're doing. And we are basically positioning this to follow current tracks that we have. As you can see, it doesn't fit perfectly. Because we don't have enough points in. But we can right click, curve point, and then we can click on the point uh, on the curve and select a point, hold down shift, select another point. We need to be on the surfaces menu. Edit curve, insert not. That will give us two more points to work with. Now it's important that this matches your curve. The, well, the path that the tread is going to take as closely as possible. And 
you also don't want too many points in. That will overcomplicate the curve. You can also use the curve editing tool to go in not working for some reason um, Actually, you can't edit the user curve editing tool on a curve with history. Let's delete the history. Curve editing tool. There we go. And this then, as you can see, you can tweak tangents. Of the curve. template that so we can see what we're working on. Better, we can see the actual curve now. So this little blue dot at the bottom actually moves you around the curve. This one at the end just how the in sort of the in and the out tangents of the curve problem is you edit one point and it affects another. <coughs> That should be fine. This 
to the middle of the track. What we can do now is untemplate that and we'll hide that track so we no longer need it. So we're going to be working off this one piece. Let's give this a friendly name. Um, left track, left track path. Freeze the transforms on it just to clean it up. 